Hi, in this video, we'll take a look at our simple demo website and walk through the steps to edit already existing content in the event section. After logging in, you can choose which section of the Bloomreach Experience Manager you want to work in. You can navigate to the relevant perspectives from the navigation bar on the left side. In BRXM, every user is assigned a certain role by the admins. Learn more about users, groups, user roles, and permissions in the documentation to this video. We are going to edit a document while logged in as an author. To make changes to a specific piece of content, first go to the Experience Manager perspective. Here, you will see all of your channels within a project. A project holds a set of related channels and content changes. Moreover, Bloomreach's Projects plugin allows you to manage a group of changes to your channels and content that require a workflow process before publication. We will not be going into more detail on the Projects plugin in this video. In this example, we have many channels, but let's use the US website. If we open this channel, you will see the website that we're going to change the content of. Let's go to an event detail page by going to our events menu item and opening the event list. Let's then select the Green Festival. To start editing the content of this event, click on the orange icon. The orange icon will let you start editing the content of this event in the preview workspace. The editor menu appears on the right side and allows you to edit the text fields. For example, let's change the title. Instead of Green Festival with an exclamation, let's just make it Green Festival. We can click Save and we will immediately see our change reflected in our preview. You can see that the exclamation has gone away. This side-by-side -side editing option adds the convenience of having content editing and content presentation in the same view. Be aware that this change is not visible in the live site yet. Watch the video about the content publication for more information. For updates to other fields, such as event dates or metadata tags, you'll use the document editor. To see all fields, switch to the content perspective by clicking on the link in the site editor. Note that all the changes we made in the site editor will be reflected in the content editor. Now, we can edit non-text fields, such as start and end dates, and a link to the image. BRXM's interface allows for editing space customization as well. For instance, notice that you can make the editing area bigger by dragging this divider to the left, or make the navigation area bigger by dragging the divider to the right. This small feature makes your editing process much more convenient. Let's make some changes to our document. First, let's add a location in our summary. Let's say New York City's Green Festival. Let's also remove the outdoors category and add the to our title. Let's then click done. When you're finished, you can click done, which will also save the document and will show you a preview of your changes in a comparison view. The new content is colored in green and the old content is colored in red. You can go back to the preview of the page by clicking on the view button and clicking on the channel. Here we can see the preview of our new document where we have the in our title and New York City's in our summary. Are you happy with the changes that you have made? Then you're ready to publish them to the live site. Watch the next video about content publication to learn how to do that. Oh, you